Hello everyone, my name is Natasha and I work with the Saskatoon Public Library. I'm filming this from my house which is located on Treaty 6 territory in the homeland of the Métis and I'm really happy to be here with you today. Um, so I figure since it's just after the holidays, a lot of you might have these plastic eggs and I'd seen something online a while back uh, about sight words using plastic eggs. So I have an example one here where they've done it all on the same egg and all you do is you take your egg, you split it, and on one side you write the ends of words, and on the other side you write the start, so you write the letters, and then your child who's learning sight words, usually between ages four, four to six is a really good group, uh, can just spin it and practice saying the words. So they'll put it together and they'd line it up and they'd say sit, and then they'd spin it and they say hit, bit, fit, and so on and keep going with it. So this works really cool when you have it all in one egg but sometimes with this method you run into things like this where it's not a word. So I've seen it done another way too where instead of doing it all on one word, um, on one egg rather, uh, you do each of the separate endings on its own egg. So for that one it'd be really fun if you had your child work on it with you. And the only part that might require an adult's help is if your kid's still young enough that they have trouble doing letters, then maybe they'll have you do this part. And if they're the kind of kid who likes running around with a Sharpie or a permanent marker and doing it on the walls, maybe keep that for the grown-ups. But if not, if they're a bit older and their penmanship is good enough that they can read it, then go for it, let them do it, and that's even better practice. So for this one, again, you're looking at the two halves. And you pick one of your word endings. So I'm going to start with AN and I'm going to write that here on this half. And then on the other half, the egg, I'm going to think of all the words um, that I can make. So I know that TAN spells tan. And you have to be kind of careful because, look, I just smeared it a bit because it's very plasticky. It depends on the ink. Sometimes it, the ink doesn't stink so, stick so good. Um, so I then spin it and think of another word I can make that ends in an. And I know that C an is can. So I'm going to put a C here. And then I'm going to spin it and I'm going to try and think of another one. And I'll keep going with that and make all the words I can do. So that's why it's good if, uh, if you're a kid and you know how to do that, you can do it yourself because it helps you also come up with the words. And then once you have it made, you can practice saying all of them and learn your sight words. So I'll look at it and I'll say sit is one. And I also know that fit is one. And mitt. My egg doesn't want to stick together. Okay, there. And I know that bit is one too. And this one I actually probably wrote a little bit too far apart. You probably want your I and your T together. And Try to make sure your letters are detached. I have a really bad habit of writing my letters together, which is really hard for younger kids who are learning to read. They do better with detached letters. Now, if you don't have an egg that goes together this way and you have this kind, which is what I mostly had at home, the kind that split down the center, another thing you can do is use it to do number recognition for even smaller kids. So you put a number on one side and then the number of dots on the other side. And then you can have them all split around, and the color helps your child learn to put them together. So they'll think blue, blue is same, and then they'll learn that one looks like this, and one looks like that. And it's even trickier if you do the numbers on the back side. And then you would do as many numbers as you want, maybe one to five, maybe one through ten, and split them up. So you see how it's easier when you do the dots on the back side instead of on the side? I 
you spread them out and you ask your child to find the ones that go together and they can learn their numbers too. So that's a really easy craft you can do if you have eggs and a marker. You can do your sight words, practice saying them, have fun spinning them, and you can learn number matching. And then a bonus thing for these ones especially is when you're starting out you could actually hide maybe one bead inside or one jelly bean if you got them and also learn that way or practice by filling with the right number of objects to match. So that's how you do a quick plastic egg sight word and number matching game. Thank you for joining me.